Hello everyone, this is the daily devotional video for March 20th, 2017. Our passage for today is 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 6 to 15. That's 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 6 to 15. But this I say, he who sows sparingly <coughs> will also reap sparingly. And he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So let each one give as he purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you, always having all sufficiency in all things, have an abundance for every good work. As it is written, he has dispersed abroad, he has given to the poor, his righteousness remains forever. Now may he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food, supply and multiply the seed you have sown, and increase the fruits of your righteousness. While you are <coughs> sorry guys <coughs> while you are enriched in everything for all liberality which causes thanksgiving through us to God. For the administration of this service not only supplies the needs of the saints, but also is abounding through many thanksgivings to God. While through the proof of this ministry they glorify God for the obedience of your confession to the gospel of Christ and for your liberal sharing with them and all men. And by their prayer for you, who long for you, because of the exceeding grace of God in you. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. The title for today's devotional is, Blessed to Bless Others. God's blessings to us are not meant to end with us. His desire is that they filter down to others. This principle applies in all areas of our life, including our finances. Did you know that our Heavenly Father has plans for our money? God's children generally want to discover what His will is for their life. But so often, they fail to consult Him about His desire for their paycheck. The Lord graciously supplies us with income so we can provide for our needs and even some of our desires. But he also wants us to use our money to achieve his purposes. And one of his goals is that we share our resources with others. If we decide in our heart to participate in his plans, he commits to provide all we need to live and to share. Just look at his extravagant promise in 2 Corinthians 9, verse 8. And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that always having all sufficiency in everything, you may have an abundance for every good deed. This encouraging scripture is a good reminder that Sharing blessings with others will never lead to deprivation. In fact, the Lord promises to increase the harvest of our righteousness and enrich us in everything in response to our generosity. We can never outgive God. A hoarded blessing is never enjoyed as richly as a shared one. Using your gift to meet someone else's need glorifies the Lord by demonstrating His grace at work in your life. Don't allow His generous provisions to end with you. Pass them on to others and discover the joy of a never-ending cycle of blessings. Wow. Well, in terms we hear nowadays, it's the term pay it forward. And it's when someone does something nice for you, the idea is you, you go on and do something nice for somebody else. So the good deed that was done for you 
you didn't pay it forward, but you're eating some for somebody else. And that's what it's talking about here. It's talking about <clears throat> when God blesses you, whether it's physically, financially, whatever it is, God did not mean for that gift to end with you. Okay? When you are blessed with something, you need to, to, to be a blessing to somebody else. Pay it forward, like we talk about. Pay it forward. And, and keep the blessing going. I remember one time I was, I was at a restaurant with a friend of mine, and we were having supper, and we were just kind of immersed in our conversation and immersed in our food and eating. And, and uh, we finished, and we asked for the check. And the waitress came over and said, somebody else paid for your meal. And we're like, who? And she said, well, um, they told me not to tell you who it was. But your meal's been paid for. And you say, you know how to respond? I mean, it's the first time that had ever happened for me. First time ever. And I was just totally, I, I wanted to have who they were. And, and thank them and give them a hug. And, you know, and it's just. When you're when you're blessed by God, be a blessing to others. Okay, God, like I said, God not only gives us money for to meet our needs and a few of our desires, but He intends for us to be a blessing to others with that money. And when you do that, when you when you use your money to bless other people, then that that's that's uh what do they call that um. Sowing up treasure in, in heaven, you know. I said, verse says, so treasure in heaven where moth and rust do not destroy, where thieves do not break in and steal. Where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So, when we invest in other people, when we bless other people financially, when we pay, when we pay it forward to the people, that's sowing up treasure in heaven. And that treasure that will never, ever go away. So, I love you guys. Have a blessed day. I hope you guys like this devotional video. If you do, give them a thumbs up. If this is the first devotional video you're watching, I'm glad you came by. Um, if you want to hit the subscribe button, I think it's down there. But it's like way down there. It's like way down there. But it's down there. And uh, hit the subscribe button and click the little bell. And you'll be sent notifications of when I upload new videos if you want to stick around. I love you guys. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed week. Pay it forward today. So, so kindness to other people, it, and, and it will, you will never regret it. Have a great day. I'm going to shut up now and go. Bye.